musty, dusty, crusty velvet petals or bare vanilla. Fuck. It is disgusting, like Kool-Aid. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reading Victoria's Secret's original body mist line from my least favorite to my absolute favorite. So I'm so excited to get into this video. Before we get into it, definitely go like, comment, and subscribe as well as go follow me on all of my social media. Links should be down below and let's go. So my least favorite out of the original fragrance line is Amber Romance. Oof! Girl, this smells just dirty to me. Like, I just, I don't know, it smells literally musty and dusty. And by the way, don't get offended. If any of these body mists work well on your body chemistry, just know that is totally fine. Something that doesn't work for me and smells bad on me might smell amazing on you, or we just have different scent preferences. So anyways, that fragrance just smells musty, dusty, crusty. It just smells like sweaty like mustiness to me i don't know it's just not a vibe hate that fragrance don't even own it not about it it just really doesn't do it for me it's really really bad the next worst fragrance is pure seduction i literally like it's fruit punch like trashy fruit punch it is disgusting like kool-aid it's literally kool-aid just with like extra gross sweetness like it's doing the most and I absolutely hate that fragrance with everything in me. Not as bad as Amber Romance, but it's so funny. In middle school, Love Spell and Pure Seduction were like my favorite fragrances. Maybe that's why I'm like scarred for life from like eighth grade. That was not a good year for me. I don't think that was a really good year for me. I was kind of depressed. Maybe that adds to it. I don't know, but it is so gross to me. Like I just cannot. One day I wore it and it's like three years ago now. I went and hung out with my dad and my dad was like, that smells disgusting. And it changed my perspective forever. I was like, wait a minute, that kind of does smell disgusting. It just smells like cheap and like gross. Now I love this fragrance, so it kills me to put it in like this category. But I love Love Spell, but of course I have to say it's my third least favorite, but I love it. Like I adore this fragrance. So don't worry, Victoria's Secret has an amazing original fragrance line. Next one is Coconut Passion. Now, Coconut Passion is just sexiness. It is, you're going out, you're on a nice island, you're going, literally, you tanned all day long, you're so beautiful, you're feeling your absolute best self, you showered, you're going out to a nice dinner in the Bahamas, you are feeling like that girl, like that bitch. It is one of those fragrances, and if you're trying to get yourself a boot thing, Coconut Passion, it's for you, I'm telling you right now. It is so good and I hated it with a passion. Literally hated it and now I love it. I think it's an amazing and such a well done fragrance. But if you don't like coconut and you don't like very warm fragrances, I wouldn't recommend. It does not give the fragrance notes, which is weird. It says warm sands, beach days forever. Like it's a gourmand, like okay, no shit, it's a gourmand, but I don't care about sunsets forever. I can't, okay. The next one, oh my god, this is getting so hard. Ugh. Velvet petals or bare vanilla? Fuck, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to do bare vanilla. I love bare vanilla though. It is your sexy vanilla fragrance. It's vanilla, but like so much more than that. You can mix it with three billion fragrances. Like, it is such an amazing go to fragrance from them. But I would have to say it definitely is a little bit below Velvet Petals. It's so freaking good. It's just warm, but it has this sense of just like a lift in it. It's just, I don't know, it is such a gorgeous fragrance and it's perfect for night out. It's a perfect for a daily day in the life. It's amazing for the winter, the fall, the summer. Like you could wear this fragrance whenever it just it works. So definitely get your hands on that if you're a vanilla lover. The next one is Velvet Petals. This is an almond fragrance with floral. It is very warm. It is very like a gourmand. It is so good. And I usually wasn't a big fan of almond notes and now I'm obsessed with an almond note. I love to mix it with Almond Blossom from Bath and Body Works. It is such a beautiful fragrance and it is definitely a compliment getter. I'm honestly going to bring that up to wear this week because I keep my fragrances downstairs. So I'm gonna bring that in my room so I could be wearing that more this week. But it is a beautiful fragrance, warm, sexy, good, a billion compliments. Like 
it's amazing. The next one, am I gonna do Aqua Kiss or Midnight Bloom? Oh my God, this is so hard. Fuck. Oh my God, I'm the worst. I'm literally the worst. How, okay, what am I gonna do? Okay. Aqua Kiss, then Midnight Bloom. Oh, no. Midnight Bloom, then Aqua Kiss. Yeah. Yeah, because the Aqua Kiss, like the daisy and the aquatic, like how do I, how do I not? Honestly, in my deep heart, they are tied. But if I had to give one up, it'd be maybe Midnight Bloom. That kills me saying that. And my top tier, warm and cozy. Even though it's Victoria's Secret Pink, if you guys want my own, like an own video of like Victoria's Secret Pink original fragrances rating them, then absolutely I will do that. But I had to include it in this one, warm and cozy. Nothing beats it. It is so original. They had a Velvet Petals Heat that was very similar to it. It's almost It was almost like a repackage, but a little bit sweeter. But Warm and Cozy, it's so good. It has like a coconut note in there that you would never know about. It's just, you could wear it to a night out. You could wear it all times a year. It is one of my most complimented fragrances, truly of all time. And it's long lasting and it's gorgeous. Wear it on Netflix and chill. Every guy loves it. It's literally, my boyfriend's obsessed with it. Um, but it is a really, really beautiful fragrance and I have to put it above Aqua Kiss. If I had to choose one, it would probably be Warm and Cozy. This was so hard, you guys. By the way, Fresh and Clean, how it used to be years ago, Fresh and Clean was amazing and then they changed the formula and it sucks now. It's literally disgusting now. I gave it away. I returned it. It was so bad. I couldn't believe it because years ago it was an outstanding fragrance and they ruined it. Why do fragrances change the formula? But yeah, warm and cozy. And number one, top tier. Top tier, you guys, this was hard. I would love to make a Bath & Body Works one. Um, I know Bath & Body Works is always switching up their original line though. So today I wanna talk about self-love. I sometimes struggle myself with loving myself. And a lot of people ask me on here, how do I gain my confidence? And it's really hard. It's really freaking hard and I noticed I tried so many ways I tried self affirmations I've tried literally everything to try and be confident and the only way which I should have started off with was finding my beauty in God and it's so crazy how when you start focusing on that truly how much it affects your life so I'm gonna leave you or I'm gonna read you guys a Bible verse um, this is Psalm 139 14 I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. I love this, because it says, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And it's so interesting, because we are made in the image of God. We are so beautiful. Who defines beauty? God. What? What person's idea of beauty is more important than another person's? Who Who is deciphering what's important? It's always a trend. It's always something going on. We are all beautiful in our own way. And it's really difficult because we put our self-worth in people's opinions. When I get on the internet, someone's going to think I'm gorgeous and another person's going to think I'm ugly. Kim Kardashian, beautiful. Some people look at her like she's the most pretty, hottest woman alive. Then someone else looks at her and they were like, nope, because our opinions are all different. And one opinion from one person don't value over your opinion. And overall, God thinks you are gorgeous. We are made in God's image. When he looks at us, he doesn't go, this one's prettier than this one. Not at all. That, that's not even God's thought. So we put our worth in man. We put our worth in this flesh of a world. And... I just want to remind you guys that one opinion is not stronger than another. The only opinion that we need is God's opinion. And it's so important that, you know what, that person may not want to date you. They might not think you're pretty enough or good enough or skinny enough or thick enough or whatever it may be. You will never please everyone. The prettiest women in the world will never please every single billion people on this earth. Beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder, but all we can do is really focus on God and how he views us. And that helped my confidence and I'm still working on it, but it helped my confidence so much because he 
thinks I'm beautiful. I wake up every day and he thinks I'm pretty. He thinks I'm gorgeous. He loves me for how I am and who I am. And I just want to encourage you guys to love yourself because if God loves you and sees your worth, you are worth so much. You are so stunning. You have the most beautiful eyes, whether they're blue, green, brown, whatever it may be. Someone else's beauty does not take away from your beauty. So always remember that. I love you guys so much. I'm here for you always. You guys keep me going and lift my confidence every day. So thank you so much for that. Keep spreading the love in this world. I love you guys. And there are so many blessings on the way. And so many blessings right in front of you guys. You just haven't looked hard enough yet. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you guys in my next one. I'm being stupid. Just in my limit.